make it a little more uh, oval shaped. Make sure it's in the middle. Something like this. It's about right. Maybe a little bit more. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and see what happens if I put a solidify modifier on it. Oh, there we go. It looks actually pretty good. Thickness. Now, why I'm using solidify instead of extruding is because the solidify, if you put even thickness, it makes uh, it doesn't make much difference in this case, but um, it keeps the thickness uniform throughout the whole thing, so I don't have this uh, sort of thin areas and thick areas. Uh, so once you've done that, go ahead and go object mode, apply it, go back in, and there we go. So I'm going to do oh, that's cool, a loop cut like that. Hmm. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's gonna be hard. Okay, yeah, I'll just do it this other way. Loop cut there. Oops, too far. That's about right there. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, control tab and go into face mode. Select these faces, which are on the top of the spiral. And just go ahead and grab them vertically until I approximately have a 45 degree angle right here. And of course, I'm going to do the same thing bottom. Grab Z. Mm. All right. So we have sort of a spiral thing that we can keep duplicating all over the place. And it'd probably be a good idea to go ahead right now. Um, control tag, go back into vertex mode. Select these inner vertices in SX. Zero, so that when we translate it vertically, they'll line up perfectly and we'll be able to uh, remove the extra vertices. Now I'm going to right now is go ahead and hit X and faces. And I'll make this hollow, these hollow ends. And as you notice, uh, it's still not quite touching, and I do want it to be basically touching right now. So I'm going to move this up, so like right there. And once again even these out. We're pressing alt and right clicking to select these loops and moving them around. All right, so now I'm going to see what happens if I actually try and uh, duplicate this. Control L to select everything. Uh, Shift D and go ahead and move it down until it's it line up like that. close as possible lining up. Then we check the edges and should be all right. And it is. Okay, great. Now if we go hit uh, A to select everything and W remove doubles. It goes ahead and removes all these vertices in here and we've just extended the spiral. So now what I do is hit shift D keep moving these down and it gets faster and faster since I multiply the uh, length of this exponentially. Remove doubles, remove zero. Whoops. Okay, well, they're not close enough evidently. I don't really want to increase the threshold because I might start merging other things. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Only move it vertically. W, move doubles, and there we go. This Move doubles. There you go. I'm sure I need one more. 
either of them. Okay, not a little too many down here, but that's all right. I can select. Uh, looks like these, and just hit X. Uh, yeah, one more loop. Yeah, we'll see if that works. Yeah, it's a little too much. <laughs> One more. X. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'll make sure this is about the right thickness that we want. Eh, it looks pretty good. Um, I don't need to cap those ends. I don't know what they would actually do, but <laughs> we'll just put like a, a another. Uh, That might be kind of weird if I do that. Just put a go ahead and put another fill in there there. And if anything doesn't work, we'll just fix it. So, shift A. Hmm. Yeah, might as well. Cylinder. Put this also down to 12. And we do want to cap the ends this time. Do we? No, we don't. Don't cap ends. Alright, so just grab it. Scale it down. So we want to at least cover up all that end part that's exposed. Just eyeball it over good enough. Right there. Oh, scale up a little bit. I don't know what this is. I don't even know if this is Unreal Source. Um, I just have the basic structure and then I kind of style it how I want. Not necessarily 100% uh, accurate to reality. There we go. That looks actually pretty good. And I'll just scale it up. Scale it, Shift Z, scale it a little bit. Go ahead and do the same. Eh, yeah. See, now this one we do have to extrude, but since it's perfectly uniform, it doesn't really matter. And just until you can barely see it like that. Alright. Go ahead and do the same thing we did before, only this time it's a little bit easier. Because now you can just do that and raise it up. And control L, move the whole thing down a little bit so it's not intersecting at the hilt. And go ahead and move it so it's about the same. But yeah, can't see. Edge slide until it's about the same. And so that needs to go in here. There it is. Shift Alt, right click. Okay. Already made it. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and. Nah. Scroll up and you can add two cuts. Scale on the Z. Scale, Shift Z, kind of give it more of a bulgy shape. All right. Shift D, drag it down. It should be about the right height. Yep. Now this thing looks really small down here.
Uh, that's pretty pathetic there, but <laughs> I don't know. Ran out of ideas for that shape, so. All right, now, go ahead and I think we should be pretty much, that's pretty much it for now. Sword's about the run. Oh, that's, wow, that's really long, actually. Ah, looks good enough. So, smooth shading, smooth shading. I'm going to go ahead and uh, apply, save first, and apply the mirror modifier to this top one. I'm going to go ahead and select everything and see now if it'll properly, nah, it doesn't, nah, oh, bummer. I don't know why it's like that, actually. No doubles. No, no doubles. All right, we have to do this manually. So, I'm not even sure why it does that, but if anybody has any tips, that would be very helpful. <laughs> Control tab, go into face mode. No, oh, boy, all these are wrong. These are all wrong on one side of it. <laughs> Recalculate. Inside. Ah. Oh. Not half of them, now a little, now less, ugh, now they're all facing inside. No? I said recalculate inside, now they're all pointing outside. So what's the deal with that? Now I just flipped them the other way, now they're all mixed up. All right, well, these are all, these are half wrong. They're right on this side. So I need to delete, select all the ones that are facing the right way. And hit flip direction to flip these outside. Now these are pointing the right way. All the ones that are pointing inward need to flip back outside. Actually, you know what? It looks to me like half of this is facing the outside and half isn't. So, three to go on the side view. And look, luckily, it looks like the blaze all right, so. Yeah. Blaze all right. Just the hilt's all screwed up. I don't know why. I'll go ahead and pause the recording and uh, come back once I've manually flipped all these edges. All right, so I got them all fixed now. Uh, it looks like, a f <laughs> looks like a fuzzy caterpillar. Um, I don't know why that happened. If anybody has any feedback on why that? Uh, I know extruding from 2D shapes sometimes has a strange, does strange things with the normals. But uh, all right, so that's all for this segment. We've uh, fully modeled uh, sort of a styled sword here. Down to got into some cool stuff with modeling spirals and uh, unfortunately. Got into some stuff about fixing normals. <laughs> um, so, the next part I plan to uh, do some texturing, uh, materials, and some, uh, and uh, render it out. Maybe some compositing, but I kind of doubt it. So, see you in the next uh, major section.